Welcome back to Yoga Express, your virtual stretch clinic that helps you move the body to still the mind. My name is Banu Suresh. I'm your host for this program today. Hi, Carmen. I would like to introduce four wonderful participants today. I'm going to save a new participant to the last, for the last. First, I'll go ahead and introduce Talisa Michela on the extreme left in the green T-shirt. And you might have noticed Talisa almost always wears green. It's her favorite color. Talisa, you just had a birthday fairly recently, and did you wear green on your birthday as well? Actually, I wore blue. You wore blue. <laughs> but yeah. green, you look amazing in green, and uh, if you have anything you want to tell our viewers before I move on with the other introductions, want to tell them anything? I, is this How was the, kale, the episode with the, the pillin? Yeah. It was, the experience was very nice. Um, she opened up a new eye, a door for me. Right. To um, juice, not juice, but smooth with the blender. Right, it was Instead a of juicing with the juicer. Right. So that was like a new dynamic, something that opened the door for me. So I thought that was a great experience with her. My That's birthday right. was fantastic, and I thank you for that blessing. And also, it's a pleasure for me to be here. It's a pleasure to have you, Talisa. It's wonderful to have you back. I'm glad there was a little bit of a gap. I'm glad you're back now. Yes. I think you were too busy doing other things. <laughs> To, to my extreme right, we have Indra Dudnath. Indra, thank you so much for coming back. Thank you were you there in the episode me. where Pilin was there yes. with the kale juice. Tell me, did you have any more kale juice when you went home? I, I think I'm, I haven't, but I'm definitely going to try it. I yeah. couldn't believe how wonderful it tastes. I thought at first I was like, it's so green, it's going to be so bitter. Right, we always think, and, yeah, um, that's right. It was so good. It, tastes it really tasted good. amazing, tasted amazing, and I, I was so glad we had you know, a taste of it right there, right here in the studios that day. Yeah. I'm totally hyped up after that. And also that I can eat it in a salad. I had no idea that I could eat it in a salad raw. And so it gives me more right. ideas of what to do with it. And then I can start eating healthier. It's amazing how we never give it yeah. a second thought about how, how, uh, f how good foods can really be for us just because right. they don't look all that fabulous. Right. And I think Pelin made another good point. She said, when I said, why does good food taste bad? She said, no, it actually tastes good to me because she was used to it. So once we get used to good foods, it actually tastes amazing. Yeah, once you start practicing right. using it and, and preparation as well. Because That's right. She juices it was, and yeah. you know, it's quick and easy it and it easy. tastes great. Talking about smoothies too, in smoothies, you don't have to worry about taking all the fiber out, right? So you get your fiber and you're not just juicing it. So you're not just getting the juice, the vitamins and everything, you're getting the fiber as well. So yeah, amazing. I think she's got another addict right here. Kale addict, three kale addicts. <laughs> Josiane, you missed it. Josiane Hurd has been with us in many episodes before. She's into a lot of uh, activities, but I'm gonna have Josiane tell you in her own words why she's been away for a while. Josiane, any uh, excuses? Uh, yes, I had something, uh, an obligation, a okay. uh, uh, law. Low thing, I'm confident that in spite of all obligations, you were still stretching at home. Oh, yeah, absolutely. You were. Yes, you do. <laughs> Look me in the eye and say you were. No, I'm, I'm searching in front of my computer all the time. Uh, you are. Well, that's another thing, too. When you're sitting in front of a computer all the time, we did talk about one you posture. You know, when stretch. we do the Namaskar Asana, right. that itself helps release any tension in your wrists. Mm -hmm. So when we do this and we bring our elbows up, if you flop them down, you don't feel any pressure in your wrist. So when you press it like this, that helps relieve carpal tunnel syndrome. I do twists and I do legs and I twists do stretch. Well. Exactly. And you do the work. I know every posture on the sequence is your favorite. <laughs> it feels amazing. Yes. We did twists too. We did twists as well. So I think we were also totally hyped up on the kale juice. We <laughs> we were just up there. How did you get the kale juice? Someone brought it in? Or someone well, in actually, them? we had a nutritionist who came. She's also a yoga trainer. Mm -hmm. It feels good, doesn't it? Yes, it does. They you can feel that pressure. Yeah, you, you can feel, feel it. Stretch. And then you have your elbows up. She came in and she did a demo, and she also teaches, so we're going to have her on next time. 
Now for the big moment, you're wondering who is this new face. That's okay, you can go in front of the monitor, that's fine. You just cannot go in front of this camera, but that's fine, go ahead. I'm so sorry. No, no problem, the, uh, you can go in front. Sure. This is an open studio viewers, so feel, feel free to write to us and let us know if it bothers you, but it doesn't bother us. It's an open studio, people do walk in and out, but that's fine, as long as we don't have any interruptions. Now for the big moment, you're wondering who this new face is right here. This amazing gentleman, Kofi24, did yeah. I say it right? Yeah, correct. Yeah. And it looks like green is your favorite color too, Kofi. So wonderful to have you here. Tell us a Thank little you. bit about yourself. I'm from Jersey, New Jersey, and uh, I did get a couple of emails from you, so I have done yoga twice, Good. so I took the chance to come. I noticed you brought your own mat as well. Yes. Viewers at home, in case you're wondering how is Kofi getting away wearing socks, please know that Kofi has got rubber dots under his socks. Even if you don't, we're not going to tell them that. <laughs> now, you want to make sure if you want to, and Josian too. Josian really does have rubber dots. I haven't checked Kofi's socks yet. But if you want to wear your socks, if you want to keep your socks on, make sure you have something at the bottom, something in rubber that gives you the traction on the floor. You don't want to hurt yourself. The last thing we want is to slip and hurt ourselves. So, Kofi, anything else? Is that it? What, what, you're an actor, right? Yes. You're an actor. Yes. Okay, what kind of roles do you do? I have Tell done um, Law and Order Special Victims Unit. Okay. Uh, what uh, role did you play? I played as an extra in the court. Okay. And I have done a bit of modeling with Corey Entertainment. What's and that? It's modeling, like uh, clothing. Clothing, okay. Yes. Okay. And um, um, I did a small role in a gospel movie called Hide in Place. Right. As a soldier. So. You got to wear all the uniform and yes, everything? I did. And how to fit Guns. Gun. Oh, wow. <laughs> did you actually get to shoot a rifle? Yes. Uh, Pathetic thing. I was tugging a little girl, a little beautiful oh. girl, but she, she, she escaped. She escaped. That's good. <laughs> we don't want guns. Right here, we're all about peace and peaceful living. But you know, having said that, sometimes every time I roll the mat, and one end, if, if we're not totally centered, one end ends up looking like a torpedo. <laughs> I always think to myself, this is supposed to be a peaceful piece of equipment, and then my mat isn't rolling straight. So if you're feeling really centered, that's the way I test myself. If you're very centered, the mat rolls nice and flat on both sides. Okay, enough of our chatting here. Kofi, we will have you, I hope you'll stay with us for at least, se for several episodes, but at least in the next couple of episodes, we'll have you tell us a little more about yourself. I think okay. I might have blindsided you by not telling you. Yeah, that you're I, didn't know, have to I didn't know much. That's all right, but I just assume that you know yourself best. <laughs> so, <laughs> but we'll, we would love to hear a little more about you. Okay. Since you are new, what would you like to do? We'll give you the first choice. Would you like to do a sun salutation? Do you want to do twists? Do you want to do forward folds? What is your comfort zone? What do you like doing? Um, twist. Twists? Okay. Eee. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hope twists. I can twist. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do some twists today. Okay. We do play it by ear. So those of you who want to come stretch with us, please feel free. We tape twice a week, but we air five times a day. Yoga Express airs Monday through Friday on Time Warner 57, RCN 84, and Fios 35. That's at 1.30 in the afternoon, Eastern time. So we're in New York, so it's New York time. Josian, can you find the card for twists? And if we don't have it, we're going to have to wing it. Yes. <laughs> uh, we also have a lot of support for you, our viewers at home. We have a, a title, Yoga Secrets. We also have, Yoga Secrets is a box of eight plus two ailment-specific cards. So there are eight common ailments. 48 basic stretches that are scattered over uh, the 10 cards. We have a postcard with all 48 simple, 48 stretches. We also have a fridge magnet. Stick this on your fridge, put this in your handbag or briefcase. Don't ever give excuses not to stretch. If you can move, you can stretch. We're not gonna take you through very deep stretches. We also have a website, yogaexpress.com, Y-O-G-A-X-P-R-E-S-S. -S. Did you find the twist? That's okay. Well, I might have misplaced it. That's all right. Let's take, let's do the twists from here. That's no problem. I might have handed it to someone. Let's stand up. We're going to stand up. That's, and while we're all getting ready and trying to get the blood back into our legs, I would like to thank our amazing crew. We have Alamelu Narayan Swami as our director today. Danny Darrow is also co-directing as well. And between the two of them, they're helping make this episode happen. Richard Swanson, thank you so much for doing all these wonderful lights 
the gobos and the sound system and getting us started. Okay, let's, I'm gonna stagger myself and I'm going to have Josie and Halfway and Kofi, you're fine where you are. If you wanna come forward a little more, Indra. Great. Heels are together, toes slightly apart. First, keep your palms in front of your chest. Just close your eyes. Keep your palms, press them together. Bring your elbows up. Give yourself just a few seconds. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, relax. Now, we didn't want to start our stretching facing away from the camera. Now, we're gonna turn to the left. Let's all turn to the left. Bring your legs out about three and a half to four feet apart. So you wanna make sure if you're very tall, Talisa's very tall, she's gonna get her legs further apart. Uh, Indra is fairly tall, so is Josian. In fact, everyone's taller here than I am, of course. Kofi's tall as well. Put your brakes on in your left foot. Turn your right foot out. You can bring your arms down now, Kofi. What we're gonna do is we're gonna bring your arms by your side. Now, bring your right foot out. So your left foot is in, right foot turns out. Very nice. Kofi, if you feel blindsided, feel free to watch the monitor. It doesn't look fabulous from here, but you should be able to see what we're doing. Inhale, bring your arms up to shoulder height, palms facing down, both arms, very nice. Now, lean a little bit to the right. Exhale, dip your right hand in front of your right ankle. Take the left arm all the way up, both palms face forward. So think of it that you're gathering all the energy from around you, so you want your palms facing out. Josie Ann, tell us your expression. Someone is holding my hand. Right, we remembered <laughs> you when we did the last taping. Someone is actually pulling you from up there, so you're holding your hand. You should feel a delicious stretch. Look up at your raised arm. You should feel a wonderful, wonderful stretch on your adductor muscles, the inside of your upper right thigh. Inhale, let's come up. Keep your arms at shoulder height. Turn your right foot in, turn the left foot out. Look to the left, lean a little bit to the left. Exhale, dip your left hand in front of the left ankle. Take your right arm all the way up. Both palms face forward. Look up at the raised arm, very nice. So the whole body gets a beautiful, careful, gets a beautiful twist. Inhale, let's come up. Now turn your left foot in. We're gonna transition into two postures. Keep your arms where they are. It's a good test of our tricep strength. Turn your right foot out again. This time, as we exhale, we're gonna bend the right leg at the knee. Exhale and bend. Veera Bhadra, brave warrior. Now, let's take this one step further. Keep exhaling, dip your right hand in front of your right ankle, left arm goes all the way up. Veera Bhadra Kona. Now, keep going. If you wanna challenge yourself a little more, take your arms all the way overhead, just like Talisa and Josian, and I can't see Indra, but I'm sure, and Kofi is there too. Now make sure your palms are facing down, your left palm is facing down this time. Let's inhale, let's come up. Bring your arms up to shoulder height. Turn your right foot in. Let's complete this twist on the left side. Turn your left foot out. Exhale, bend your left leg at the knee. You're ahead of yourself, that's exactly where we're going, Kofi. Keep exhaling, dip your left arm in front of your left ankle, take your right arm all the way up. Now this posture may involve a little bit of balance, so if you feel you might be falling out of position, it's okay, just get right back in. And to challenge yourself, take your arm all the way overhead. Now this time you should, you, if you're wondering where viewers at home, if you're stretching with us and wondering where the twist is coming from, you should feel a beautiful compression in your obliques on the left side and a wonderful, wonderful stretch on your, the whole right side of the body. Inhale, let's come up. Once your arms up shoulder height, straighten your left knee, turn your left foot in. Exhale, bring your arms down, wiggle your feet a little closer together, and then let's turn to the front to face the camera. That's three postures that we transition one into the other. Now, before we move on, I'd like to get feedback from our new participant here, Kofi. How did that feel? Felt great. Felt good, didn't it? Okay, we're gonna take you through a few more twists. And I'm sure you're aware of it, but we've been discussing it in previous episodes. But just so to remind our viewers, every time we twist, what we're doing is we are wringing our body. So the upper body goes in one direction, lower body goes in the opposite direction. We're depriving ourselves of oxygen just for a few seconds. And then when we untangle or undo ourselves, the fresh blood, fresh oxygen rushes, and that's what makes us feel wonderful. 
Okay, we will do a few of the standing twists before we go into seated position. Again, Josiane and Kofi, if you want to come forward just a little more, because I feel I might hit you, Kofi, and I don't want to do that. Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> Heels are together, toes slightly apart. <clears throat> Palms in front of your chest. Now, this is the pause. This is Namaskar Asan. It's not included in our 48 stretches, but we start almost every standing posture begins with Namaskar. And it's amazing. It's amazingly effective. When you press your palms together, your wrists get wonderful relief. Keep your elbows up. Inhale, Ardha Chandra, half moon. Inhale, the arms up. Hold that for just a moment. Once your arms are all the way up, wiggle your biceps behind your ears. Tilt your head back just a little bit. We're going to exhale to the right and to the left. So exhale, dip your torso to the right. Hold it. You might notice that in our program, we do have longer holding times. But if you want to move faster into these postures, that's fine. Inhale, come up. Exhale to the left. Inhale, come up. Exhale, bring your arms down in front of your chest. Very nice, and palms are facing down this time. We're gonna take you through a posture called Kati Chakra. Kati Chakra, Chakra is wheel, as you know. Kati is spinning or half, half circle. So we're gonna take you into a half circle with your arms. Bring your feet out about six to eight inches apart. You wanna keep the insides of your feet parallel to each other. Elbows are raised. We will exhale and swing the right arm out. Inhale, bring the right arm back in. Then we exhale the left arm out, and then left arm comes back in. The first round, keep your hips where they are. Second round, we'll take our hips with us and see how much further we go. Exhale to the right. Inhale, back to the front. Exhale to the left. Inhale back to the front. This is where you get your twist, because if you keep your hips where they are, your body will be forced to move. Upper body is forced to move more deeper to the right to take your arms back. This time, take your hips with you. Exhale to the right. Inhale, back to the front. Exhale to the left. Inhale, back to the front. Exhale and relax. Bring your arms down by your side. So we've done one, two, three, four, five. Beautiful. We're going to take you. Hi, Elizabeth. Good to see you. Good to see you. Bring your legs out. Now, this posture, when you go transitioning from one posture to another in the full sequence, the entry into this posture is slightly different. Since we're doing it in isolation, it's a slightly varied entry. So bring both your legs. Your feet are apart from each other. So bring your right foot forward. Both your feet face the front of the camera, front of the studio. Very gently, keep exhaling, bend both your knees, place your left knee on the floor, uncurl your toes in the left foot, and let's ease off just a little bit. Now, if you're fairly tall, if you're very tall, as most of you are, you might want to wiggle your right foot further forward. You want to try not to bring your knee too far over the toes, otherwise we have, what is it, the muscle association is gonna come after us saying, oh, it's not safe. We take a few liberties in yoga, but we'll still try and keep it in the rules. Now, when you dip forward the way we are all doing now, you will feel a wonderful, delicious stretch in your the front of your upper left thigh. You know, are you too far forward? You okay? Yeah, this is good, this is good, because you, you probably work out a lot at the gym too, right? Yeah, I do the What gym. do they allow you to do at the gym? Can you go uh, past? Just about early. You know. <laughs> <laughs> so you want to dip your hips. So bring your pelvis close. Now, uh, Parswa Kona Namaskara. Inhale, the left arm up. Right knee is up, so left arm goes up. Exhale, dip your left elbow over your right knee. Place your right palm on top of your left. Raise your right elbow and look up at the raised elbow. Parswa Kona. Kona is corner. Parswa is intense, twist. And Namaskara is prayer. So literally, it's a prayer twist. Hold it. When we say hold, it's always hold your posture, not your breath. Inhale. Let's come out of that. And let's switch. Let's switch our legs as gracefully as we can. So place your palms on the floor. Take the right foot back. Bring the left foot forward. Move this little cheat sheet forward. Now, keep exhaling, dip your hip. So bring your hip nice and close to the floor. Then you would feel a wonderful stretch on the outside of your quadriceps on the right leg. Left knee is up, right arm goes up. Inhale, 
Exhale, dip your elbow over your left knee. Place your left palm on top of your right and hold. This posture may involve a little bit of balance because we are literally balancing on one leg. Stay focused, stay with us. Inhale, come out of that. Let's come on hands and knees first. We've done our twist, we're gonna sit down, get into, take you through a posture called Ardha Matsendra. So we're gonna sit down first. Tuck your left heel under the right buttock. <coughs> Ardha Matsendra, Ardha means half. Matsya is fish, Matsendra is lord of the fishes. So this is called half spinal twist or half lord of the fishes. Use the props you already have. Take your right leg, cross it over the left knee. You wanna make sure your right foot is flat beside your left knee. When you turn your right foot to face the back of the studio, the posture, the name of the posture may change. You're stretching a different set of muscles. Basically, your focus changes. So keep it flat for now. <coughs> now I'm gonna try, I'm gonna push my right knee in. When you push your right knee in, you wanna torque your upper body to the right. So that way you're already caught away there. We have five minutes, great. Thank you, Rich. Right knee is in, left arm goes up. Inhale, the left arm up. Exhale, dip your left elbow over the right knee. Push your right knee in with your hand, with your elbow, whatever helps you get there. Try to hold on to your left knee. If you don't need to make that connection, that's fine. You wanna to just touch your the outside of your right thigh, if you wish. Try to hold on to something, even hold on to a piece of your garment. Place your right hand behind you and turn to look back. You want to just feel the twist in your midriff. Keep breathing. Sometimes yoga teachers are like dentists. They have all that stuff in your mouth and they'll ask you the most fascinating questions. So when we're in a twist, don't forget to breathe. Inhale. Let's come out of that position. Release your arms first, your left hand, and then untangle your right leg. Let's switch legs. Josie and I have to tell you, Talisa took over your role the last time we taped. She reminded me that I'd forgotten something, so now I have two people to remind me. See? If I forget to stretch on the other side. You never miss anything now. I know. <laughs> I'm in big trouble, right? Tuck your right heel under your left buttock. Cross your left leg over your right knee. <clears throat> Push your left knee in, torque your upper body to the left. So you're caught away there now. Hold on to your left knee. Some of you may not, Talisa may not, she's already into that posture. Talisa, you are totally hyped. No, you wanna take your elbow from the inside. We're gonna challenge you now. <laughs> no, that it's just the pull it closer. And then I take when you, we go up. And yeah, I, I how do you get so deep? It's amazing. It's nice. Um, I guess because I've been doing it for so long. Right. <laughs> no, I also guess that because you have this fabulous body, you're so slim. I have this little mansfield which I have to get rid of. But no excuse for me. <laughs> hey, you're right. There's no excuse, right? I'm going to keep twisting, Talisa. I'm so inspired. Push your left knee in with your left hand. Inhale the right arm up. Exhale. Dip your right elbow over your left knee and push it in a little more so you can hold on. And we talked about this, we all have a good side. Take your left hand behind you. Now this side of my body cooperates just a little more. Turn to look back. You're also very comfortable in this, Josie, and it's amazing. I love this body too, Masana. You're crazy, you love all the yoga postures, I know. Because you Especially love them because twist. you do it so well too. Inhale, <laughs> inhale, release your hand first. And then your leg. Keep your leg outstretched. Don't get too comfortable. We have a couple more twists to go. Keep your leg, extend your left leg out. Flex your left foot. <coughs> Bend your right leg at the knee and lift your right knee up. Now this is not total, not too much of a twist, but we'll still get a twist. Now keep your right knee out just a little bit because you're gonna lean forward just a little. Hold on to your right shin with your left hand. Inhale the right arm up. Exhale, fold forward, wrap your right hand around your right knee, take your left hand from behind, and let's see if I can get that. Make the connection. Try to hold on to your fingers. Now, if you have someone to help you at home, you can use, let me help you. With that. Yeah, it is a little bit of a challenge. Yeah, hold on to that, and take the belt, and keep every day. Use a belt if you need it. Thank you, Ali. And hold on, clasp the opposite fingers. 
There we go. And if you're using a belt at home, make sure that every day you wiggle your fingers a little closer. Look to the right. Inhale, release your fingers, extend your right leg out, bend your left leg at the knee. Talisa, you may have to help Kofi on the other side. Just pass on the belt when he's ready, when he needs it. Yeah, just keep it ready and she'll help you. You don't even have to look his side. You can just turn wherever you are and just pass the belt. I think you'll be very comfortable. Extend your right leg out. Keep your right foot flexed. Bend your left leg at the knee. Move your left leg a little bit to the side. This is Marich Asan. Marich is ray of light. Was named after a sage. I have no idea why. Maybe he sat in this posture all the time. But hold on to your left shin with your right hand. <clears throat> Inhale the left arm up. Exhale, fold over, wrap your left arm around your left knee. Now again, this side is cooperating a little more. Take your right hand from behind, clasp your opposite fingers, and look to the left. Make sure you have your chin up. Keep yourself nice and upright. Look to the left. Yeah, wherever you are today is fine. Just make sure you <clears throat> make that connection. Inhale, release your arms. And then let's relax. I think we have one more twist. We can, we have another minute. I think we are, oh yes, there's one more seated twist before we do this, uh, the one on our back. T uh, have both your feet out, flex both your feet, have your legs extended, take both your hands to your left side. Supta Parivrita. Exhale, no, this is Supta Namaskar, I'm sorry. Exhale and dip your forehead. Inhale, let's come up. Exhale, to the right. Take both your hands to the right and dip. Keep your feet flexed, keep your buttocks on the floor. Inhale, let's come up. We still have another minute since the titles are up now. We're gonna come in supine position. Let's turn with our hands to the camera. Let's come down on our back. Danny Darrow and Alamelu Narayan Swami, thank you so much for holding the fort today. Richard Swanson, thank you very much for the amazing lights. On behalf of Talisa Michela, Kofi Tufour, Josian Hurd, and Indra Dudnath, this is Yoga Express signing off. Stay with us. This is Banu Suresh, and we will see you again tomorrow. Extend your right leg out, bend your left leg at the knee, left hand on your left hip, place your right hand on your left knee, and push your left knee over to the right. Danny, keep it rolling for another 10 <laughs> seconds. Turn your head, turn your face to the left. Make a beautiful S with your body so you feel the twist. Inhale, extend the left leg out. Keep your left foot flexed. Bend your right leg at the knee. Right hand on the right hip. Place your left hand on your right knee. Danny, keep going. Push your left knee, right knee over to the left.